I want you to think about this question. How can privacy hurt us? Usually when we think about privacy, we think of it as something we want, or at least something we want to be able to control. But there can be some real harmful parts to, uh, to both individuals as well as to society with too much privacy or by giving individuals too much control over proximity to themselves or to the information about them. Okay, here's two things to think about. Privacy can be used to hide crime and immorality. Okay. Criminals perform their actions often under the assumption that they're not going to get caught. A bank robber masks his or her identity because it's their privacy, right? So by maintaining a level of privacy, they avoid the punishment or the consequences of their action. As a society, we may wish to remove some amount of privacy of individuals to prevent certain types of crimes from occurring. Okay? There's also the issue of immorality. There are certain activities which, though not illegal necessarily, though not crimes, may definitely be considered immoral. Certain types of prejudice and discrimination, certain types of activity that violates um, the code of conduct of a community or a religious group uh, that wishes to establish rules for the benefit of its members, these actions, these sins, these misdeeds can be hidden from the public and therefore not addressed and can end up harming other people. So those things people do under the cloak, under the cover of privacy. So there, that's a potential harm. And many of the arguments we're hearing today from various governments around the world about removing individual uh, control over certain parts of their online communications, for example, uh, follow up with this point that we need to be able to catch criminals, so we're going to have to sacrifice some privacy. Then there's this issue of it keeps people from getting the help that they need. Okay? Now, there are lots of people who really need help, and in earlier history and in smaller communities, it was frequently extended families that helped, for example, to raise children. Now in our modern society, uh, that burden falls increasingly to parents who are trying to raise their children without the help of brothers and sisters and parents, and grandparents, and so forth. So these people may now be living on their own and may feel the need to protect their own privacy. They may feel overwhelmed but are fearful of the consequences of letting their vulnerability be known. Whether it could be, for example, um, a parent could be having a hard time feeding her children, but if she lets that be known to others outside of her home, she may actually lose access to her children. So she maintains her privacy. There are people who are struggling with addictions to alcohol, drugs, pornography, and so forth, who hide their addictions, or people who are struggling with medical disabilities, uh, diseases like cancer, emotional illness such as depression, and may not uh, let others know about it and therefore will not get access to the help that they need. So whether it's we're trying to protect society from criminals and the, the immoral actions of others that can harm people or because we want to make sure that people really do get the help that they need. These are some arguments against privacy or at the very least some recognition that too much privacy can indeed be harmful under certain circumstances.